Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Travis Dykes. Today, I wanted to give you some speed and dexterity exercises to help you with your plan. I had a couple of questions about it, and um, I wanted to kind of give you guys just like something you could um, easily do, just kind of like when you're chilling at the house or, you know, you know, watching a video or something, whatever, whatever you're doing. Um, you could do these and just kind of mindlessly do them and kind of, and it will help build your speed. Um, <clears throat> the first technique is going to be kind of helping with, um, our first exercise is going to help with um, getting better finger dexterity um, and just individual, like in um, independence between your fingers. So the exercise goes like this. Uh, this goes like, so we're going to play, I'll just play it first. So. So, so all I'm doing is I'm playing first fret with my index finger, fourth fret with my ring finger, or not my ring finger, my pinky finger, and then second fret with my middle finger, and then um, third fret with my ring finger. So it should go like this. All right. And that's the same pattern. We're just going to take it down to the next string. Next string, next one, and then we're going to take it up to the next fret, that. same pattern, and just going backwards. All right, and the key with this is just doing it for a consistent, for a consistently for a, uh, I guess, equally in balance um, and accurate accurately with no buzzes and anything like that for um, a consistent amount of time or a, a length of time. So like sometimes I give myself like a timer of like five to seven minutes or 10 minutes, depending on like what exercise it is. And always, always, always practice all these exercises with a metronome because if you, because it builds you quicker, it makes you lock in and your, your, um, your speed grow quicker. Um, so let me show you how it goes with the metronome. So we got, this is at a hundred BPM. So you got, So what you do is you just keep going until you get to the, so until you get to the, I can do it and talk, um, until you get to the uh, double dots or your um, octave right here on the 12th fret. So you just keep going until you get here. And I would even suggest go backwards. I would even suggest go backwards. So after you get to, and go back down. go back down go back down backwards um, and it really will help get your your left hand finger finger um, uh, individual um, movement between your fingers your all your fingers now um, what I'll say with your right hand is just make sure you alternate your um, index and middle finger every time so And so just make sure you do that with this one. Now, the second exercise is going to be kind of the same type of exercise, but you're going to do it a little bit differently. So you're going to going to play, um, instead of playing that first fret, you're going to play start off with your pinky. So it'll be like this. So you're going to play start pinky, index, so pinky on the fourth fret, index finger on the first fret, Ring finger on the third, middle finger on the second, fourth, first, third, second, and same concept. Same concept is building strength for your um, in independence in your fingers. Uh, so yeah, that's another one, uh, same kind of groove. Now, when it comes to building speed, uh, this is one that I, I learned from a guy named Robert Bubby Lewis. Awesome, one of the fastest bass players I've ever I've seen <laughs> in a while. Um, 
he he uh, showed me this technique of um, playing a uh, the speed exercise with um, with playing shout. If you if you haven't seen any of my shout videos, you should go check them out. I have a basic gospel shout video, or and like even some more advanced one I just posted not too long ago. Um, but if you don't know what shout is, but uh, the what the whole concept is is that you just play shout for a long period of time until your fingers just really can't handle it. Not only does it build your speed, but it builds your stamina when it comes to playing. So you could play just playing this. And you could play it like you don't have to play it plug, plugged up. Like I could cut my bass up and just play it like that as long as I can hear the notes. You know? And so, um, so yeah, and that's the whole concept is playing that. Now you take play it with the metronome because that's what's gonna lock you in um, and now build your strength. So it's just like this. So uh, this is at 100 BPM, and I would set a timer on your phone um, or your iPad, whatever you have, um, and like and play that for. I would put like maybe like five, ten minutes. Start off with something like five minutes. Now you would be surprised how how long five minutes is when you're playing something like this. But the thing is, you want to push yourself. You want to push yourself with um, how fast you're going. So like, so that's 100 BPM. That's not really pushing me. I could I could do 100 BPM really pretty like comfortably. But if you really want to push yourself, push yourself um, to where you could play it. The fastest you can, but the cleanest you can. You don't want to play it too fast and where it's just like, you're not getting all the notes. You know, you want to play it where it's fast, but clean. You know, fast, but clean. Um, so let me say, I'll, I'll say like, I'm going to go, this is, and this is not like a realistic thing I would do. Like I wouldn't be playing a shot at 180, but I'll do it 180 just to help. Cause I feel like that that's one that kind of pushed me a little bit. And just keep it going for the whole five to 10 minutes. And just, and you will be so surprised. Do that, I would do it like once every other day. Um, and like, it will change your life. I, I, I didn't realize how much that exercise changed my life, but I did. I was like, whoa. And you just kid, you do it. And if it starts burning, take a break for like a few, like maybe like 30 seconds and go back into it. And then whenever it starts like burning again, you know, take a break for a second and get back into it. And I'll do that maybe two, twice or so, twice, two, two to three times. And, um, just per day and then just kind of let your arm rest for like a day let your your wrist rest for a day you know just like muscles you, you don't want to overstrain them or or, or or burn them too much at, at one time and just and all the time and like never let it heal so you want it to like it's just like working out it might burn a little bit at first but you're gonna heal back stronger so um and those are those are some of my go-to exercise there's another last this will be my last one i do um and go to exercise I do just for warming up before I play anywhere is I um I play this uh this exercise where I um I go between um my kind of like the finger of all the four frets of what I do so it's, instead of like playing a shout it's just going to be playing all four frets so like so first fret second fret third fret fourth fret you know with index middle ring and pinky and just go up all the frets and then come back down them on the next one and up on the next one and then down the next one and this is also one that you can use with the metronome maybe not at 180 <laughs> let me take let me take it down uh maybe like 120 so You can even double it. And remember the goal of all these, you want to be as fast, as clean as you can. You don't want to be building a building sloppy technique while you're doing these. So uh, be sure to look at that. And also, I'll just give you one more. I just, I'm just, 
I'm, uh, I feel like you, you could really use this one. The one way that you can do, and this one's more, a little bit more of an arduous like uh, exercise, but you can do um, this right here. So, and this helps build, this is specifically helps build finger strength. Um, so while I'm doing this, I'm playing, I'm gonna play the first note, but then I'm not gonna play it anymore and I'm just gonna do hammer-ons and pull-offs. That, with that um with my fingers so you got so I play play once and then hammer on with my pinky pull off hammer on with my ring finger pull off hammer on with my second finger pull off or my um, middle finger and do and then go back up ring finger pull off fourth finger um, uh, pinky finger pull off so move to the next string next ring it might not sound great but I promise you you're gonna start filling it probably with that within the first two or three frets so you're gonna do and then take it up next So yeah, and so I always just practice that. Go all the way to your your um, 12th fret. That's always like my gauge. 12th fret, when you get there, I'm, I promise you, you will definitely, if you don't feel something, that would be very, very surprised. It's It really does start working really quick, um, especially if you haven't done it uh, before. So I would just practice that. And um, But yeah, hopefully this helps you guys out. If you have any more questions about speed exercises or anything like that, feel free to hit me up. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel um, and supporting me. I love all of you, and I will see you next time.